I'm Brooke Rogers and this is That New Teacher. I'm a middle school teacher in Northern California and today we are talking about Cart Light. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> I know so many of you are getting pushed into this cart life, this mobile teaching, traveling teacher lifestyle due to not mixing cohorts or the socially distanced guidelines. So here are five tips that will help you succeed as a cart teacher. All right, tip number one is to have a checklist. This is for whenever you are leaving, either to set out to go to your first classroom of the day or when you're exiting a classroom to move on to the next part of your day. Have you ever walked outside of your house and been like, okay, I've got watch, keys, wallet, phone, check. Okay, I'm out. Like you're ready to go. That's what you have to do for your cart life. How many times have I left my coffee in a classroom? Rip. Or how many times have I left my keys in a classroom or something from my drawer that never made it back? So you wanna kind of have a mental or written checklist for your like main items that you'd never wanna forget, like your laptop. Tip number two is pack only the essentials. My first year of teaching, I had my own classroom with bookshelves and a classroom library. And this year, I didn't get to have that. I had to break it down to what was absolutely necessary to keep the day moving. So my essentials were things like the books that we were actually studying together. I couldn't have a classroom library for this year. Hand sanitizer, because you know. Uh, hole punch and stapler. I could not trust that every classroom I went into had one, so I brought my own. Same with Expo markers and my own eraser. <laughs> a few more things I kept in my cart were things like paper clips and these binder clips that I love so much, snacks because important, and I brought my own charger. And of course, coffee. <laughs> you kind of have to shake this down as you go through your year. So maybe a month into your teaching, figure out what you haven't touched for that month and maybe get rid of it. It really lightens your load. Pushing a heavy cart is a big deal. <laughs> Tip number three, own the room, respectfully. If you're a cart teacher, you're probably walking into either another teacher's classroom or for us, it was no one's classroom. We were all rotating, all of the junior high teachers. But no matter what, it feels like you as the teacher are walking in to the student's room. When you walk into the room, set a new tone, set your personality into the classroom. So if you are, you know, domineering and strong, then you bring that energy as you walk into the classroom and set the tone immediately. If you wanna bring that joy and that life, you come in booming the music and bring that life into the classroom so the students know this is your room, not just theirs. When you are teaching in that room, it is your room and you have to run it like it is your classroom, but you also have to respect the space and that it might be another teacher's classroom as well. Tip number four is to streamline transitions. From that moment where you walk into the room and you own the room, you also need to get moving as quickly as possible. Get the students working on an activity as quickly as possible. Whether that means that you work out with a teacher that you can come in and maybe set up a few minutes early. Or for me, I had it very set. I opened my laptop, I connected to the projector, I quickly put up their do now slides so the students knew what they needed to be getting out and what they needed to work on right now. So while I'm getting myself set up, they're still active and learning. And it creates a lot less time lost in those transition. Tip number five, customize. Look around and find just the right accessories that are both functional and or magical for your cart. So like my background, it is not functional at all, but it just added a little bit of magic. It added a little bit of personality to my cart. The background is just a straight black and so I added this contact paper to give it a little flair. I used to, rest in peace, have some magical lights across here too that were colored and I could change them for the seasons, but they died around Christmas time. Um, a cup holder, this is functional and magical for me. It might not bring magic for the students, but I can put my coffee there and know it's gonna get from class to class, right? This is actually a spray paint can holder. So just use what can work for you and you can put your cups in there. Magic. <laughs> okay. So some functional items for you might be the cup holder or keeping your markers easy access or this is my car line sheet clipboard that I always wanted to be able to grab right at the end of the day on my way out. So there might be some functional things. Magical things for me were the colors and the lights. My husband, he used to work from a cart. His functional item was he built up a whole whiteboard for his own so he never had to worry about sharing whiteboard space. And he also had a boom box because he was the music teacher that he played music wherever he went. So whatever works for you, just add a little bit of functionality 
personality, a little bit of magical light to your cart, and then it can become yours and you can bring some joy wherever you go. So those were five tips to help you with your traveling teacher life. I will see you in the next video where I break down every accessory on my cart. All right, I said five tips, but I have a last bonus tip for you. Some of my coworkers ditched the cart altogether and lived out of a backpack or a rolling cart so that they could be a lot more minimal in their things. I carried along a lot of books and a lot of copies, so that did not work for me. But find out what works for you. Try it for a week. See what it's like to go without a cart and just use a backpack. Whatever you do, make it yours and make it fun. <laughs> I do have chefs.